come out. You're running late. Oh, I'm out already, okay? Oh, God. Yeah. Let's go. Why are you looking at me like that? Mommy says you. What? Oh my god, you look so beautiful. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I love your necklace. Thank you. you. Thank Thank you necklace. so much. Thank you. Oh my god, mommy, you're so beautiful. Thank you. Hey, you look beautiful too. Oh, thanks, mom. Thanks. You just said we have be released. Let's hurry up and go. Yes, yeah, sure. Where's your pocket? It's in my purse. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. ah. Yes, ma'am. Please take care of the house. Okay, ma'am. All right. Bye-bye, ma'am. Bye-bye. Not babies. I also eat at food in peace. Thank you. You know you're such a good soldier. Are you okay, like seriously? Don't drop the meat. Drop it. 
What did you do? <laughs> Eric. Mom. Now eat. Yes, eat and be satisfied. Thank you. Mind your business. Stop eating my food. I don't know. Andrew, I don't need to talk to you. She doesn't need to talk to you. Who does that? Who does that? Will you? Put it back. I just said it back. Put it back. Look at Chesma eating anything from out of her plate. Yes! I'm so good. Not to mind the children. You can feel it. I read it. I want this busy distracting you. Mmm. Mmm. This is so mm. nice. Like, wow. as usual, <laughs> we've been waiting patiently for your arrival. I'm so mm. sorry, I'm so sorry. Right. I you said one person that is not patient enough to wait. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I enjoyed myself yesterday. For real. It was fun. Uh, so did I, my dear. But that outing yesterday reminded me of your late father. Mom, not again. Hmm? I know you miss daddy. I miss him too. But that's why I'm here. I'm here for you. And you know I love you so much, right? I love you too, my angel. So I cheer love you. up, cheer up. <laughs> Cheer up, mom. Cheers. Cheers, my God. Love you. Love you, mom. Oh. Oh. Man, I'm so tired. Tired? I need to have my beauty sleep. Why? Mommy, I don't know. I just feel I need to sleep. No problem. You can oh. go in and sleep. Call her. Hi, mom. Hi, darling. You look so cute. Really? Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, what are you writing? <sighs> Mommy, I'm trying to make uh, some lists for my provisions. I had the uh, ASUS track will soon end, so I need to get a few things for myself in school. That's all right. Um, whatever it is you are writing down, make sure you double everything, okay? Ooh. Then send the bill to me so I can wear the money to your account. Oh my god, I love you, mommy. You're the best. Oh, mommy, you're the best. What would I have done without you? Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> um, I hope you go and see a friend of mine. I'll be back as soon as I can, okay? All right, mommy. I love you. Bye, be mom. safe. Bye, darling. Bye. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, ma. How are your parents and your brother? They're very well, ma. You're welcome. Ah, you came to see your friend today? Yes, ma. Since this ugly head has been destroyed, so I decided to come to you. Angel, why don't you like visiting your friend? Because, mom, you know I cannot do without you, and you can't do without me. So I have to stay here with you. Oh, oh, what's that? Anyway, girls, let me freshen up. I'll come and join you soon, okay? Mommy, I'm mommy. What because something for me? Yes, I did. Oh, shut up. For us. For us. For us. For us. Oh! Oh! 
Mom, uh -huh. I heard they are going to call us the strike next week. Really? Yep. Oh, I'm going to miss you so much. You know, whenever you are away, I miss you so much. I get so lonely and depressed. Mom, you know I'm going to miss you more. But the only way to make you proud is by having a proper education. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Uh, mommy, yes, yeah. I would love to go for shopping this Saturday. Oh, do you want me to come with you? No, mom. I'm grown up. I can do things by myself. Mm, big girl. You don't need me anymore. No, not for this one. All right. I understand. You don't want me along. No problem. <laughs> what are you watching? I'm watching a football game. Football? Yeah. Since when? Come on, mom. I love football. Moreover, my, my team are playing. We're winning. <laughs> Let me sit down and watch you do for a while. <sighs> Why are you not picking your cup? Mom, it's not ever called a tick. More it's not important. Listen, the best thing to do when you don't want to pick somebody's call is to simply block the person. I think I'll do that. Mommy. <sighs> oh, I thought you want to watch the boy. You don't want to watch the boy. I missed you too. I missed you too. I've eaten. Mean, no, no. Uh, what do you want us to eat? Mm, I want to have um, salad and turkey. Turkey and salad? Yeah, but I don't, don't. want the homemade food. I don't want to go eat outside. Will that make you happy? Yes. Okay, we'll go outside and eat. Okay. Uh -oh. Now let's go and change. Okay. Go out and come back. Sorry, my baby girl. Oh my god, however I stay switched off, what am I going to do? Where do I start from?
Angel. Angel. Eh? Look at the time. An angel is still on back. Christy, how are you? You look like hell. Doris, my sister. Angel did not come home last night. Are you serious? And the worst part of it is that her phone is switched off. You've called her severally. Severally? Oh. Switched off. This is scary. Are you sure she did not visit any of her friends? Mm -hmm. No. If she had, she would have told me. You know how close we are. I know. It's okay. It's okay. Let us not get agitated, okay? Let us give a little bit time, like a day. In four hours, at least. No. In four hours. Yes. Because we, we still have to try to see the calls and all that to see if she, if she went to see someone. Yeah, leave that one. Did Jennifer tell you if she saw her call yesterday? Because Jennifer was with Philip and I at the burial we attended, okay, and we came back very late, so I am very sure Jennifer did not see her, and we did not come back until very late at night. Hmm. Where can she be? Where? Do you know any of her friends? Maybe we'll call them to find out if she's there with them. No, 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 no. Your daughter Jennifer is the only friend I know that she has. No one else. It's okay. Um, please, please help me now. I know. I feel the pain in my bones too because she's my daughter also. She's my daughter. Okay? Let me get you because I know you've not eaten anything. Let me get you even if it's hot or something to take. I'm not hungry. I'm not. I'm not Just wait. Doris, I'm not. See, what I'm not going to do is for you to come and tell me how to get my angel back. I'm not about food now. You can't go. You can't starve yourself and die before she will find her. You just have to find her with you around. Please, I'm not hungry. Come and sit down. Let's discuss this thing. Sip of this coffee. I'm okay, honestly. I know you are okay, but I insist. Take a sip, it's hot. It will warm your stomach, okay? Thank you. It's okay, it's okay. Um, I think um, um, Philip and my son and everybody has to get involved in the search and see what we can do. You know you are the only oh, friend I she's have. My yes, she's yes, my exactly. daughter. Yes, yes, exactly. I feel the pain is in my veins. Christy, 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 Christy,
it is already nightfall. So I should be on my way before my husband Philip starts getting worried over me. I understand. Um, Jennifer will be going to school tomorrow to find out if truly the strike has been called off. I will also ask her to check around the school if Angel was there. Okay, that would be nice. That would be nice. And if by tomorrow we did not hear, hear anything from Angel, we will all go out in search of her. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Doris. You are truly a true friend. Thank you. Meanwhile, I want you to still remain strong for all of us. You have to stop crying. I thank you. I will take all things, okay? I'll be back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please. Make sure you sleep. Thank you. Thank you. That's it, man. We have searched every police station in town, every hospital. Yet, my angel is nowhere to be found. Doris, Doris, when are we going to find my baby? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You will kill yourself before time. I told you all hands are on deck. Jennifer has done well to post her pictures on the social media. Eric Ipoli is busy over there, pasting her pictures all over the places. Eh? Let's keep hope alive, please. Let's keep hope alive. We might be very lucky. I should be found. No, it's not me. We will fight her. We will fight her. But when? Is there no God? Is there no God? Take it easy now. Let's look up unto God. All you can do for her now is prayer. Pray for her. It's okay. okay. We will do everything. Mm -hmm. Hey, Joe. Alright. Okay. Christy, believe in God, okay? I believe. The reason I believe what the hell is
Right now, the people that saw her have gone to inform the police. I just took off from the spot before the police will come and arrest everybody. Is this person still alive? I don't know. I didn't bother to go close. Ha! Wonder shall never end. Look at this fine girl that is missing. Ha! So painful. This picture looks like the girl that was found. Are you sure? Yes. She's the one. You sure she's the girl? Yes, she's the one. I'm sorry to have to stop you guys. Where was she found? Along the road by Obiese Junction. <coughs> what? Yes. Are you saying that you found this lady at Obiese Junction? Yes, she's the one. Are you sure you you in the writing? Yes. Just wait a minute. Huh? <sighs> eh? Take it easy before you before 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 you inflict serious wound on yourself. Don't enjoy yourself. Hello, Father. Hello. Yes. Yes. Eric. I was just told that this body has been found at Obiezu Joshua. What? What are you saying? This body has been found at Obiezu Joshua. Yes, Father. Please come right away. Please, 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 just come right away, Father. Please come up. Okay. We are on our way. We are coming. We are coming. What is it? What? What is it? Angel has been found. <laughs> Angel! I found? told you. Yes. Where? Where? Christy, I told you that you we're see. going to find her. You see. Thank God. Thank Where? Jesus. They said, they said, um, OBS, uh, junction. Junction? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Can you please show me to that place? Yeah. Please, come and show me. Please, come and show me. Please, come and show me. Let's go, come in. Come on. And Christy, please take heart. The Lord knows the best. Please. Auntie Christy, please stop crying. If tears will bring her back, she'll be here with us today, please. I'm going to say this, Mama, 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 I'm going
Stop crying and don't make her cry the more. How can I stop crying when my one and only sister is gone? Now that Angel has been found and properly buried, I want us to do something for Christy. Because I know very well that she will be very broken. So I want you to begin from now to pay her a regular visit. Okay. It's a kind of consolation. That's true. That's true. A kind of keeping her company to make her forget the pains of the death of Angel. You're right, brother. I have spoken to your mother and your sister. Oh, for Okay. That's nice. It's a good idea. And for me, whenever I have a little chance, I may still reciprocate and still do the same. That would be nice, brother. That would be nice. That would be nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome, brother. yourself to death. Please, you just have to come off face. You are not alone in it. We are all involved. You have me. You have Jennifer here. You have my husband, Philip, and my son. We are all free. Please, you don't have to do this to yourself. My mom is right. Please, see me as your own daughter. <laughs> There is the only thing that can bring me back to my mouth. Seeing a hole in my angel was more. I know. If only I can see it. I know how you feel in this. I know how you feel as a mother. But you have Jennifer here. She is your daughter. Yes, I am here. I am here. I am your daughter. Jennifer is still your daughter. Okay. Yes. I hold Jennifer. Yes, you don't believe. I'm not here for you. Okay. If anything happens to you, I will lose it. Please. Please. Just come on. Thank you. It's okay. We will all be fine, okay? Yes, yes. We will all be fine. <laughs> Angel. 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 Christy. Christy. Please calm down. Calm down. We know how you feel. Ha. Huh. Please pull yourself together. After all, you did everything a good mother should do for a daughter. Eh? And you did all single-handedly. I mean, without your husband. Please calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Bring back my angel. Okay. Uh, Philip, 
please bring back my angel hey it's hard to believe that the angel is gone but the bitter truth is that she's gone and gone forever who angel gone forever no yes, no yes, people should please bring my angel Auntie, please, Auntie, please calm down, please. Auntie, please. I want my angel. Auntie, please calm down. Angel. Auntie, please, calm down. Auntie, please. 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 Auntie, Please, 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 My beautiful baby girl. Now I'm all alone. No husband. No child. It shall not be well with whoever has a hand in your death angel. I cry to heaven. I cry to Mother Earth. I cry to all the elements in the universe. Angel, whoever has a hand in your death, these tears that I'm shedding, these tears that I've shed and continue to shed, I will shed a million fold. It shall never be well with their families. May the earth swallow them. If they drink water, may it be poisonous on them. If the sun shines on them, may it be poison to them. Angel, they think they have killed you and they will get away with it. But there's God in heaven. My Christ, are you crazy wherever you are? You must reach heaven and touch God. You must be exposed. Let them feel the pain that I'm feeling now. Let them be wiped out. No progress. As they have cut your life short, so shall their life be cut short. Oh, Angel, my daughter.
good at common language. Mm -hmm. Jennifer was not lying after she told me, but just keep explaining. Uh, Jennifer, my daughter, didn't come with you today. Mm -hmm. You know, she'll be going back to school very soon. So she was busy packing her things. Oh, okay, remind me before you leave to give you something for her. Thank you. Never changes. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's my special baby. Don't I don't blame her. I know, not at all. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'll give you something. Some tea and some fruits. I'm so happy. 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 i am I know you will. <laughs> you know how to get me. Yes, I do. Madam, do you still need any other thing? No, no, no. I'm good for now. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. over the phone. But someone called Philip. No, we actually received a call from someone we don't know saying that there, there was an accident. And uh, my Jennifer is involved with the accident. What? Oh my God. Oh. Uh, actually, um, Philip and my son just left to the hospital. To find out if the person they are talking about is my Jennifer. Hey, I just pray, oh God, that nothing happens to my daughter. No, 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 no. Nothing will happen to her. Nothing will happen to her. I know. Trust in this God that we I, serve. I believe him. Nothing must happen to her. Exactly. Nothing will happen to her. She'll be fine. 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 Jennifer is fine, but she left. How am I healthy? She had been a bad guy. She paid a bad too. Nothing was wrong with her. So, how can she be involved in that? Nothing. No. There's no. But what is keeping them? They'll be here for what's up there. They will be here soon. Yeah, don't worry, they may soon come back. Hmm? Mama! That was a dress my daughter wore. She was going back to the Where is Jericho? Where's my daughter? Where's my daughter? Eric, oh, please, where is oh, Jennifer? Oh, where is Jennifer? Please, where is she? Did you, you change her dress? Do I need to bring some more clothes? Where is Jennifer? Hey. Jennifer is dead. Hey! What? Ah! Ah! Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. No! No! Calm down. No! Calm down. Calm down. Mama, please, mama, please. 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 Darling, how long are you going to continue like this? How long? Huh? 
Will you cry yourself to death? Please. Please, my darling. Please. Pull yourself together. My husband. This baby is just too much for me to be. It's just too much for me. <laughs> Jennifer, Jennifer, our daughter does not deserve to die. Mm -mm. Who else do you think deserves death? Nobody deserves death. Nobody. Eh? <laughs> death is a very end. It comes unexpectedly. A child born today may die. You get me? So it doesn't consider age. Please, pull yourself together. Please, if you, if you, if you be consoled by the fact that you still have every kind of life. Eh? The pain is to console you, you console us. The pain is too much. He's draining my life away. Please. Please. He's taking breath away from me. is okay. Why are you doing this to yourself? Do you want to kill yourself? Because no no. Take it easy, please. Oh, tell her, tell her. You don't understand. You don't understand how much pain I feel in my heart. Please, look at these children consoling you. How do I reconcile the things? First it was Angel. She just died like that. I've not even gotten over the pains of her death. The moment Jennifer told me she was going back to school, I saw her going. If I know, I would have held her. And then, there is no more. Mom, you won't die. Nothing will happen to you, okay? See, look at me. I and Dad are here for you, okay? I love you. Yes. She doesn't so, deserve to die. Mom, it's okay. It's okay. I'm here for you. Where did it hit her? Where did it hit her? Where did it hit her? That would have taken care of her. Stop that. Why would you say that? Are you God? Doris. Doris, you cannot continue like this. Doris, if you continue like this, what do you want me to do? Huh? At least you still have your husband, Philip, and your son, Eric. But no, no, look at me. I don't have anybody. No husband. No child. I know it is not easy. But please, try and come out of this mood. Eh? Please. I've been there. I know how you are feeling. Please, you, please. I know it's not easy. But you are the only person I have, the only friend I have, and I still need you. I know, my dear. Please. Please. Oh, because you are not all. Oh. I don't understand what is going on. First, Angel died. Now, Jennifer. Like, losing my two daughters almost at the same time. Hi, oh, God. Why is such a huge tragedy hitting us like this? This is so painful. Hello? Uh, uh, Philip? Uh, how are you? Please, I want to speak with Doris.
Philip, I can't understand what you're saying. What are you saying? Philip, I, honestly, I can't, I can't comprehend what you're saying. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll be right there. I'm coming right over. What kind of heavy rainfall has fallen you? Huh? Eric, answer me, what is going on? Auntie, Auntie, my mother slept and she did not wake up this morning. What? <laughs> Philip, what is he talking about? What is he saying to me? I don't understand, Eric. Chrissy. Eh? Doris, your friend, cried herself to sleep last night. Okay. I kept fanning her. I was even happy she slept. She slept deeply. And the wee hours of this morning, this very morning, she woke up uh -huh. and asked me to make a cup of tea for her. I left her there in the room, went to the kitchen, prepared the tea, and came back only to see her stretched up. I then called my son. He came and assisted me. We put her inside the vehicle and took her to the hospital. There and then, the doctor confirmed her dead. Eh? Confirmed who dead? Doris, I saw which day. Are you telling me that my best friend Doris is now a dead woman? What am I living for? Hey! God, why am I alive?
Philip. My Lord, welcome. I, 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 I hope all is well. I was hearing your voice all the way from the gate. Philip, you are asking me if all is well. Eh? I should be the one asking you if all is well, Philip. Philip. Jennifer died. And still in the mortuary, yet to be buried. Suddenly, my sister, her mother, died. In my place, Philip, in my place where things like this happen, it is a taboo and also an embarrassment to the family. Hmm? Maybe the family will be labored an evil family. Who knows? Maybe you're ostracized. Philip, that is why I have come personally to ask you what happened to my sister and my niece. At least, let me see what I will tell my extended family. My in-law, I know how you feel. There's anyone who is so bereaved must feel as you feel. But I, I must tell you that this is Miri Marora. It is a, the, the rain that has beaten the whole of the people. I am as shocked as you are. I'm shocked that every other person who is related to us is. As regards what happened, But I can't say more than what I know about it. Jennifer never complained of headache, ordinary headache. She didn't complain of it. Only for her to have an accident while going back to her school. Which everybody knew what happened. The mother couldn't bear her death and she taught herself to death. What more? What more inquiries are you making? Philip, what do you mean? That my sister taught herself to death. Jennifer had an accident. We understand. But that does not justify her death too. Philip, please tell me. What happened to my sister? Come. My in-law. Obviously, I know you are driving at something. But without mincing words, I have told you everything I know about it. No, rather about the death. So which other thing do you expect me to say? To tell you what I don't know about the death? <laughs> Philip. 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 <laughs> How many times did I call you? Philip I am going back to the village. Going to go and look for what killed my sister and my niece. Philip, just pray. Pray that you don't have a hand in all this. Because if you do, <laughs> Philip, you will hear from us. Ah, definitely you must hear from us. Anabagum. Philip. Oh, God. I know where he was driving at. I knew it. This is an embarrassment. Having solved the future. Go.
What is really happening? What is happening? Is this a coincidence or what? Now, how do I, how do I face Father? Father? Father, don't tell me you are still up by this time. Are you okay, Father? I'm fine, son. I'm okay. No, you're not, Father. Look at the time. 2.30 a.m. and you're still up. Please, Father, let's go. Son, I will soon go and rest. Father, please, come on, let's go. Let's go to bed. You have to go to bed right now. Please, you have to go. Please, I beg of you. I will soon go and rest. Something ahead of me, something before me is greater than sleep. No one sleeps with a log of wood in his eye. No one. Father, I know. I know you, you want to start this, your idioms and parable. I'm not caught up for this this morning. Let's go, it's already late already. Let's go, we'll be fine. Come on, let's go. Well, come on, let's go, we'll be fine. Huh? Look at the time, 2 30, you are still here. Eric, in recent time, you have been very distant. We no longer attend our activities. All our plans are pending. What's happening? Joe, 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 why would I be distant when my mother and sister are lying there in the mortuary? Why would I? Very sad indeed. When are they going to be buried? That is what I don't know. My mother's family refused us to bury them. Just because they want to find out what happened to them. What she happened to them? Yes. How? Because they believe it's not natural. So they want to go deep in it. So I'm confused. Ah, Africans. Nobody ever dies a natural death. Back to what I was saying. You have been very distant and it is not good for your health. I think you need a vacation. You know, go somewhere, relax your head, and focus. I know, Joe. But you know, there's no way I can leave my father all alone at home. My dad is at home. I can just leave him. I love my dad. What if I send my house up to come stay with him? Come on, Joe. I will think about it, okay? You see something? You are not just a friend to me. You are a brother. Okay? Like I said, I will think about it. It's okay. It's chill up, bro. I will try. Things are gonna be fine. I will try. Hey! Put your glass. I'm more than most of you. Come okay. on, bro. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay.
Hey! Come on, come on. You are prepared for work? Yes, Father. Good. Uh, there is something I want us to discuss before you leave for work. Okay, Father. And what could that be? Um, your mother's people invited me for a meeting in the village. So I'll be leaving for a village this weekend. Um, so, Father, do you want me to come with you? No. Just that I want you to have knowledge of what is happening. Ah, okay, okay. So, Father, let me ask, when do you tend to leave? Just as I said, weekend. I think next tomorrow is ideal. I will be leaving next tomorrow morning. Uh, Father, I hope you're not driving. I will not. I will. Ah, okay, in that case, we'll talk more when I'm back for work, okay? okay I want to know. Uh huh. Hey, that reminds me. What about the holiday I suggested to you? I'll go for it. Oh, that's beautiful. So I should send my house up over? <coughs> no, Joe. That would be necessary. You see, uh, my mother's family invited my dad to come to the village over the weekend. So uh, my dad chose to go alone. Alone? Yeah. I don't think it's advisable. <laughs> um, Joe, 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 you know my dad. Once he says something, he means it. I can't stop him. So you just, you just allow him to go. Hmm. Okay. So, what about the contracts? How is it going? Well, we we're progressing. Um, like I said, it's, it's a process. But I'm working on a company name. I think um, what I can figure out is. Um, a name called Everywhere Soft. I don't know, though it sounds funny, but I think it's nice to me, you know. <laughs> Everywhere Soft. Yeah. Eric. There's no one not here yet. No, I get it. It could be the one. Yeah. Will you open the gates quickly? Good to go. How are you, bro? I'm alright. How you doing, man? Good, bro. You're taking yeah. so much of my time. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> How are you, daddy? It's well, it's well. Let's go. Okay, sir. Come on. Please hold on, okay? Yeah, sure. You're not looking fine. What about you? Thank you. Um, Philip, I was in the neighborhood and I decided to come and check on you and Eric. Oh. And uh, to also find out if a date has been fixed for the burial. Yeah, oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. Thank you for your concern. Yes. Um, as for the burial date, you know, I just came back from the village. My wife's people still insist on it finding out what killed their daughter and uh, their granddaughter before we go ahead to fix the death for the burial. 
it is one. It's one. It is one, no. So, where is Eric? Hmm. Can you believe that Eric left this house that same day I traveled to the village? And till now, he has not come back. Even to ask if I am back or not. It's not bad. I'm sure he's okay. I'm sure he'll come back very soon. Should have sent, it, sent him to me now, eh? Anyway, mm. it's getting late. Let me know. It's more comfortable being with Joe. Um, well. You understand? I can understand. Please, are you sure you have, uh, do you have enough food? If not, I can always make soup, make soup, cook anything. Yeah. Come and freeze for you. Christy, I know what you can do. I still have a lot. Mm. I still have them. Okay. Who is that? If I <laughs> lack them, I will let you know. Immediately. It's past 12 midnight and Eric is not back. Won't he go to work tomorrow? Maybe, anyway, he has decided to go to work from there. So, Philip, how have you been? Christy, my sister, I'm fine. I'm fine. To God be the glory. Amen. Thank you for coming to keep me company at least. Just that Eric, Eric is giving me a headache. It doesn't give me the joy. Really? Do you know that since I came back, I'm not, I haven't seen him? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. I only heard that he left here with his friend. I've been trying his line all this while, but the line is not going. They are telling me it is switched off. It is switched off. Well, I, I advise you is not to worry too much. No young man of these days. But he's a responsible young man. Well, I'm sure he will come back very soon, okay? Don't worry. Baby! Baby! Open the gate! Open the gate quickly! He's not in that car. He's, he's his friend's car. I'm sure he'll be in a, a position to tell us more about the lyrics we are about. Okay? Don't worry. You have or not enough problems already. Okay? Next, my son. Is this not his bag? You are talking to us! To answer now? He, he, he got drowned. What? <laughs> what? He what? He, he, he got drowned at the beach yesterday. The, the doctors tried to help him, but he didn't make it. He couldn't do what? He couldn't what, Joe? He couldn't what? My God!
Porra, pô. He has stroke. Stroke. What a pity. Uh, that means he's not in the right position right now to hear what I want to tell him. Uh, where is uh, Eric? I'm asking you, where is Eric? Where is Eric? He got drawn at the beach. What? Hi! Anyama Fukwa Nunti Mo. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, the oracle in my place has finally spoken about the death of my sister, Doris, and her daughter, Jennifer. Uh, Philip, the oracle said that an abomination was done in your house and that a curse was placed. Mm, that you need to confess. Otherwise, the curse will wipe the entire family. Uh, it's so unfortunate that uh, the curse have taken Eric before my arrival. Dad, Dad, what, what, what's going on? What's happening? Uh, and before I forget, the oracle also said that uh, you need to ask for forgiveness from the person that placed the curse. Um, um, Dad, please say something to me. Talk to me. What's going on? We love you. We are sorry for what happened. Please find a place in your heart 
to forgive me and my entire family. Forgive you? For what? It's painful to say that Eric killed Angel. What? What did you just say? bring me out and why are you looking no, at me like that? that that's because I love you <laughs> oh my god you're so funny and why are you laughing why won't I laugh you just made a ridiculous and funny statement my brother in love with me <laughs> come on Andrew I'm not your brother we are only close family friends a family friend that turned brother. Angel, I'm seriously in love with you. I love you. I've been in love with you right from the day of your secondary school. I don't know how to tell you. Angel, I love you. 
of a year. Are you for real? Concept. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Eric, to disappoint you, but I cannot bring myself down to loving you. For crying out loud, I've taken you and I've accepted you as my brother, my blood. Jacobon, I love you. I have been having sleepless night all because of this. I can't think, I can't do anything. All I think about is you. I just want you to be my assurance, my everything. So that my life can be soft. Bro, you need a medical checkup. Excuse me. And Jack? And Jack, I mean, once! You spoiled that. Yeah, I five. Mm. I'm just so tired of staying at home. This has to be their strike, eh? <laughs> Not for too long. I heard uh, they will call the strike off very soon. For how long? I can't just wait to get, go back to school. I can't wait to attend lectures. I mean, I'm too bored staying at home. <laughs> Don't worry, you will. Oh. It should be so soon, no? Mm. Mm. sister. Sweet said. Hi, beautiful sister. Eric said I should tell you that he loves you so much. Eric again. Now I wonder why you're smiling saying such irritating things from your mouth. Oh my god. Like, how did, how did this sound coming out from your mouth? That my own brother asks you to tell me that he loves me. What is going on? <laughs> I told him more, but he wouldn't listen. No. Just tell him that I cannot I can't fall in love with him, he's my brother. Mm. I thought it's okay. Mm. Let's chat, let's chat. Beautiful sister. Mm. But this outfit I'm trying to order online. Mm. It's very beautiful. Take a look Let at me it. Let me It's a dinner gown. No, 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 no. I don't like it. You don't like this pretty dress. I don't like the color. Well, I need something shouty, you know, for my complexion. Yeah, no. mm -hmm. yeah. It's kind of cool and it's sexy. Yeah, hello? Yeah, Jennifer, how are you? Yes. So, what's up? What's the story? What? <sighs> she says she can't commit incest? Like she's not interested at all. Come on, come on. You know I love Angel. You know I love her. Huh? Oh, is that coming? Hey, bro. What's up? How are you doing? Who is your brother? I don't have your time now. Where is your sister? Jennifer! Jenny! Eric! Eric! Hello! Uh, yes. I'm talking to you. Where is your sister Jennifer? Oh, um, Jennifer and mom and dad were at a wedding. A wedding? Yes. Like today? Today. Why would your sister go for a wedding with your, your mom and dad uh, without informing me? Knowing fully what I love going to weddings. I don't know. Oh, I see. That's why she turned off her phone. It's okay. Please. Can you please help me? Tell her when she returns to meet me at um, by Nikkei's Superstore. That's where we need to do our shopping. And we don't have time anymore. And I need to go do things for my mom at home. Okay? Thank you. Um, um, Angel. Yeah.
Angela, I am madly in love with you. I don't know if you don't understand my English. Bro, I can't date you. You are my brother. I cannot date you, okay? I Angela? Don't, I don't get what is wrong with you. I am what? Raise your voice with me. What gives you that guts? Excuse me. Andre. So that is what happened. That is what happened. What? Do Christy? No, how do I explain this to her? What do I say that happened? Hey! I am finished. I can't even breathe. The unfortunate thing is that if this news is correct, goes very hard in fact to the place of people. <laughs> the brothers to Christine's mother and father to judge Eric to court for manslaughter. <laughs> hey! The worst is that they are all lawyer. Like, Oh, yeah, right. oh, tell me how are we going to handle this issue? <laughs> how are we going to handle this issue? This kind of deportation of violence. It's what I Tell me. That this Eric Mesa will go to jail for so many years. <laughs> that is not my problem. That's not my headache. My headache here is that Christy, Christy we know very well, is a chicken-hearted woman. Okay. If she gets to know of this, she will get heartbroken. Okay. And hardly will she, will she recover from it. So, that goodness. What are we going to do now? Hey, Eric, 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 Hey, you will go to jail for so many years. And Christy, my friend, will probably run mad. Hey! I can't live with this. Mm -mm. I will not leave this situation. So you keep me. I can't take it to Hey! What do you we? We hide it from her. Did I hear you say hide it? Hide it? Yes. How? How would you hide it? I think she's right. I think it's right. Uh, in, in that case, Eric will not go to jail. And if we are able to convince my friend Christy that we are not responsible for the death of our daughter, then we can be able to bring her back to normalcy by consoling her. Yes. Then, how do we dispose this body? How do we dispose it? Yes, Chris, I have an idea. Yes. Who threw her out to the side? Oh, to me, I'm impressed that she was so bad. Yes, 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 don't pick it. Don't pick it. Just don't pick it. Don't pick it. Stop. Don't stop. Philip, what did we say? How did we say? Okay, we'll what did we say? I don't know. Uh, what are we going to do? Hey, what are you Everybody shut up. Nobody should speak. Nobody should speak. Um, Christy. Please. Please. Is, is Angela at your place? By this time of the night? No. She's not here. Uh, what happened? 
she went out shopping this morning and till now she's not yet back. Okay, um, are you sure she didn't go visiting any of her friends? No, 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 no. It's not possible. You know she tells me everything now. She would have told me. I know. But it's okay. Um, don't worry. I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning to understand what you're saying, okay? No, Doris, wait. I, I I've told you to calm down, Christy. I'll be with you in the morning to know what is going on, okay? I just came back from an outing, okay? Hello? <laughs> look, look, listen, listen, listen very well. Jennifer, you have to accompany Eric and take this body out of here before it is too late. I, I should not go because of eyewitnesses. Please, yes. Yes, you will say. Go, 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 go,